Good morning, Michelle here, mycrazyworkout.com. New video today, all right? It's a, it's a total body mix. Uh, the first part is a Tabata. It's 10 second rest, 50 second work. We're gonna go through it two rounds. There's 10 exercises. Then I've got an arm finisher thrown in there. And then I have a stopwatch for the uh, second part. So the first part will, um, the finisher is gonna be included in there just to burn out those arms. And uh, that's got seven ex or six exercises and there's some combo moves and it's sort of like total body, uh, lower body, uh, upper body abs type of a thing. And then we're gonna finish it off with that. So you've been warned, workout video. Um, I'm just telling you now, we're gonna be shaking from head to toe till we're done. So you don't need a lot for this one. Um, if you have a set of weights, that's really all you need. I've got a couple pairs because I'm gonna go a little bit heavier with um, the renegade rows and stuff. Uh, but if you only have one set of dumbbells, that's okay, it'll work for you. If you have tubes and you, uh, you don't have dumbbells, that works as well. I have my sandbag uh, because I'm gonna do a couple exercises with that, but you can also do them with dumbbells. If you don't have a box, it's okay. You can use a step or a, uh, a bench step or a, a footstool or a, a coffee table, whatever you have that you can uh, jump up to. If you don't have one, it's all right. You can do it on the floor. It's not necessary to have it. So I'm gonna set the timer. Let me get my watch set. I will have the breakdown below the video, so you'll have all the exercises there, so you'll know what you're doing, and uh, we're gonna move from one to the next. Now, I have it set up, it'll, it'll only go for 10 rounds, and then we're gonna hit it and go again. Uh, that way, if you're a beginner and you wanna stop after the first round, you can stop, and we won't move right into the next one, but I'm not gonna give much of a break there. You can pause the video and take a break if you want. And uh, other than that, Take breaks when you need to, and let's get started. Let me get my timer out. This is what it's gonna look like. So the first part is 10 and 50. Can you see that? And 10 rounds, and then we'll hit it again to do it a second time through, and before we move on to the arm finisher. I have a lower set of weights too, uh, because if they get fatigued, I'm gonna drop down to a lower weight, but I'm gonna try using pretty much the tens for most of it, other than the first one, and we'll go from there. So we are gonna do a warm up first. So march in place. I have my gloves on. It's a little humid out here today. We got some rain, we need it. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of rain. Toe tap to the front, tap it out. Pull the arm across. Opposite arm, opposite leg. We're gonna warm them up, the arms, because we're gonna do some shoulder moves and some bicep moves and some, we're just hitting the whole upper body along with the legs. Tap the heels instead of the toes and pull the arms back. Let's warm up and work out that back. Get it ready to go. We're gonna tap behind, tap it and raise overhead. Just a tap behind, no lunges. We'll get ready for those lunges. In the last section with the abs, the bonus part, I have a little bit of, like, uh, it's everything. It's side planks for obliques, glutes, uh, planks for abdominals, so you'll get it all. Toe tap to the side right here, tap it out, push it. Just warming up a little bit. And hold the arms and tap it. We're gonna tap and then we're gonna plant those feet on four, three, and you're gonna keep this side to side, side and side. Warm up those quads, wake them up. You're gonna need them today. Kanchana, I have surfer burpees in here, changing it up a little bit. When we do them, and they're in the first group, we're gonna do a burpee with a push up, and then you're gonna do a surfer jump facing the right, and you're gonna hop and turn and do the surfer to the left before we do another burpee. All right, hold it here. Pull the arm across. Just wake up those shoulders and arms, 
and the left arm. Alrighty, you guys ready for this? I have my thing going. All right, I'm doing 20s for the first one. You don't have to. We are not doing a man maker. We are not coming up and overhead because we're gonna do some of them. We are doing a frog hop push up with a dumbbell row, all right? So you're gonna do a frog hop push up, hold in the plank, and you're gonna row right and left. So you get a 10 second, and then we're gonna hop right into it. This is blowing. I have the fan on because it's hot. I'm trying to put my pen where it'll hold it down. Let's go. Frog hop and a push up and you row right and left. Don't look under that body. My mat's slippery. Push up and a row. Frog hop, push up, row right, left, neutral spine. Frog hop, push up, row right and left. Make it challenging. Right and left. Frog hop, push up. Right and left. Frog hop. Oh, all right. I'm gonna grab my sandbag. We're doing a sandbag clean to a squat with an overhead press. Clean it up, squat and press. Here comes rain. <laughs> Make sure when you squat, your knees are lined up with your ankles. Don't let them go over your toes. Chest is lifted. All right. I'm gonna grab the tens. Step out wide, sumo squat. Press in. Weights. 
Make sure you press your back into the floor. Don't use your hip flexors to lift your legs up. You should be feeling it in the lower abdominals. If lifting the legs is too much, you can roll up. If you're feeling it in the fronts of the legs. All right. We have bent over fly, and you're gonna turn the palms out. So out they go. Lift and twist them up to the ceiling. Spine, neck is in a neutral position. Lined up with your spine. Don't look down, don't bend over. You wanna have a flat back, straight, all right? Like a chair sit, a chair pose. So like you have a rod running up your spine and your knees are bent. Twist them out. If the weight is too heavy, you'll go like this and use your body to lift them up. So lower that weight and focus on twisting those palms up and using the shoulders and the back. All right, Kanchana, surfer burpee. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side so I have the full mat. Burpee first. Hop up, burpee right, burpee left. Plank push up, burpee, surfer, and down. Don't forget, on your burpees, pull forward in that plank, then a push up. Right, then left. Pop it and turn. Right, then left. Woo! Dips with dancing crab. So it's a dip with a leg lift. Dip down and up. You can do this on the floor. If you're on something, you can go lower and engage the triceps a little bit more. Make sure that your elbows go straight back. They don't flare out. Lower your butt down towards the floor.
down, tap in. Engage the core when you kick front. And the shoulders to bring that weight in. Oh, okay. Towel off, get a drink. We're gonna go through this again. Now, the nice thing about doing it this way is if you wanna hit it a third round, if you're advanced or you want a longer workout, you can do that. I know I get people that say the workout is long or whatever, trying to make it so that if you're a beginner, you don't have to go through the entire thing but I do put breaks in there. So we're gonna go, not much of a break. Grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna go this way so that I'm on the mat the whole way and my feet don't slip. Okay, frog hop, push up, frog hop, push up. Remember to pull forward in that plank. Don't look under the body. Row right, row left, frog hop. Push up, row, frog hop, push up, and row, frog hop, and a push up, row right, and left, 20 is killer, right, make it challenging. We're only going through it two times. Oh. Woo -wee. All right, sandbag is next. If you don't have a sandbag, it's okay. If you've got dumbbells, clean up, squat, and press overhead. Clean up, squat it, hold those dumbbells at the shoulders, and overhead. Clean it, squat, press overhead. Now, when you do that squat with the overhead press, make sure to engage your core, all right? Hold it tight, push the butt back as you squat down, chest is lifted. Twist it. You're gonna be glad to put these down, right? 
V ups, weighted V up. Oh, you're like, holy smokes. Okay, you choose your V up. Either pull the knees in oh, or crunch up. Now listen, if you can't go from the down position, you can stay up. Maybe you have it here. Hands are supporting the upper body, but you're still crunching the legs in. All right? You choose your workout. I gave you several variations. If none of them work, and you just want to do a crunch, don't forget to pelvic tilt. Press the lower back into the floor. Oh, any of them will work. You choose. Ready for those side raises? These are the bent over flies. Remember, stay bent over. Twist them up. Neutral spine and neck. Don't look down. Don't, if you feel it pull in your neck, or if you're looking up and you feel it pinch, too much. Neutral spine in line with your, your neck and your back, both in line. Oh, raise up, squeeze that back. Now, if the twist hurts, it might be that the weight is too heavy or it's a rough move for you. You don't have to do the twist. You can just do a fly. But if you wanna engage those shoulders and get that nice cut definition and that roundness in the shoulders, add that twist in there. You don't have to lower your weight, but it's definitely worth it. Alrighty, Kanchana, surfer burpees, changing it up. Remember, hop into the burpee. Now, right surfer, hop turn left surfer. Burpee. Right and left. Right and left. Hop in, pull forward, push up, neutral spine. Slipping on my sweat. Momentum 
and you're not going to get work those muscles and strengthen and tone those muscles like you would if you chose a lighter weight and really engaged and concentrated left lunge on the muscles. right row all right so it looks like that if you're setting your timer up and doing it on your own I need a drink a minute I'm gonna grab the tents if I need to lower it down I'm gonna lower it down because I'm not gonna shrug my shoulders and wear my shoulders like earrings don't tense up your traps keep your shoulders relaxed grab your weight I'm gonna take a tent the tens Again, bicep curls are first. We didn't really do much of them. Curl it. We really hit them the other day. Everybody was saying about their biceps hurting. So I thought I'd change it up. And I know Olivia said she needed some tricep work because hers are weak. So Olivia, I got overhead extensions for you. We did dips, we did push-ups. If you do them with your arms close, you engage more of the tricep. If you do them wider, you engage more of the chest. So I like to do the close ones. They don't hurt the shoulders as much either. 20 more seconds. Now, say your biceps are stronger than the rest of you. You can pick up a heavy weight for your biceps and lower it down for the rest of the moves. It's okay. You can just lower that weight when the beeper goes off and grab the weight that you need. Up and overhead, tricep overhead extension. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see it. Elbows face front. You're lowering down, lower the weight down to the back of the neck and then raise it up overhead. Now, don't stand like this with your back pressed out. Engage that core, round that back, pelvic tilt like you would if you're laying on the ground. So you need to bend your knees a little bit and you need to push the pelvis out, all right? That way you don't strain your back. How are they feeling, Olivia? Woo, I can feel these. Almost five, four, three, there we go. All right, shoulder press. Just a regular shoulder press. Up and press, no twists. Oh, I'm going to the eights for these. I feel like I'm gonna shrug the more I go. There we go. I wanna engage the shoulders. It's all right to drop your weight. And hey, if you don't have any weight and you have bands, they can all be done with the bands. I didn't bring them out. But you would literally stand on the band, 
one foot, take a tube in each hand, and you'd press overhead. Upright rows are next. Oh, feel them? I'm glad I lowered the weight down. Almost there, woo, upright rows. Like you're zipping up a zipper. Pull your elbows high. Dumbbells come to the top of the chin. Bottom of the chin, top of the chest, sorry. Sweat running off my nose. Woo. Squeeze, raise up. Now, don't shrug your shoulders up. See how my shoulders are relaxed? Don't be up here, don't be holding them up. Pull them up, release them down. Just the elbows are coming up above the shoulders. Raise up and down. Band, again, if you have a band, you'd be stepping on that band in the front. Or if your band is one of the thinner ones, you could step with both feet on there by stepping and stepping out, we got bicep curls. One more time through. Down to the thighs, curl and twist up. Again, you'd stand on that band, tube in each hand, and you'd curl and twist up, a handle in each hand, stepping on the tube. Twist up. Triceps are next. Gonna hold that weight overhead. When we do that, you engage the shoulders as well to hold it up there. So if they get tired on the shoulder presses like mine did, you just lower the weight. And it's okay. Work at your level. You're not benefiting anybody when you cheat, especially yourself. You're cheating yourself. Lower down and up. Now, you wanna make sure that your arms are back by your ears, all right? If they're too far forward or too far back, you're not gonna engage the tricep as well. And it's okay if you don't have dumbbells or a tube you can do dips with these, like we did earlier, the dips with the dancing crab. They should be burning. We have, good Lord, I think it's 20 seconds. A minute feels like forever. Are you engaging your core? Are you pelvic tilting and tucking the hips so that you're not pushing the stomach out? Woo! Are your arms on fire? Shoulder presses. Oh, press up, press up. You're saying, God, please end this. We still have legs. This is it. This is the last round of the finishers and your arms should be finished. If they're not, maybe your weight is lower. Maybe you don't have as much weight and you need a third round to fatigue these guys. That's okay. Do your third round. We'll be here for you. You just rewind it and go through. If you wanna do one or two more. But if you pick a challenging weight, by the time you get to that second round, your arms, your triceps, your biceps, everything should feel like it's ready to break out of your skin. Up, up. Remember, don't shrug those shoulders. Pull that weight up to your chin. Elbows are high above the shoulders as they come up. So you lead with your elbows and raise up. 
25 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe on the exertion. Exertion is where you're doing the most work. So, as you pull up, you exhale. As you go down, you inhale. Woo! Wow. Thank heavens, right? Okay. Towel off, get a drink. Off, get a drink. The next one is literally timed. We're gonna do repetitions. And the first one is gonna be very challenging, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. You've been warned, I told you that. We are gonna do, I'm gonna use my sandbag. And I'm gonna explain this. Well, you get a break, you're like, whoo, thank goodness. You are gonna do a side lunge. You're gonna row for two. You're gonna step back in, keep this, this right foot loose and you're gonna do a reverse lunge, and you're gonna do a shovel, so it's gonna to go to the other side, to the left knee. And then you're gonna come up, and it's gonna go around the world, so around the head. And then we go to the left side. Row, step in, shovel, and around the world. We're gonna do 20 of them. We gotta do 10 each leg. All right? The way I said that, go ahead. You take breaks when you need to. If you need to lower the weight, if you need to pause the video, we're going through this, there's six exercises. We're going through this two times. The second one is challenging. It's a burpee with the box, but it's different because we're doing lunges and jumping jacks and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we'll get to that one. So let's get started. Oh, my timer's going because this is the stopwatch one. Grab your weight. You can do it with a weight. Let me show you. I'll start out with this, and then I'll go to the I'll go to the sandbag. So, down, row, step in, lunge back, and around the world. Lunge, two rows, neutral spine, reverse lunge, and around the world. Lunge. This one's three. Step in, lunge and shovel and around the world. Four, I'm gonna grab my sandbag after this one. And around the world. All right, go to the right. Row, this one's five. Shovel. And around the world, woo! Left, two rows. In, lunge, and around the world. This one's seven. Row. Lunge. And around the world. Eight. Lunge it and shovel. And around the world. Here's nine. Row. In. Lunge. And around the world. We're halfway there. This one's ten. We've got 10 more. Take breaks when you need to. One. In, shovel, and around. Two, row, in, shovel, and around the world. Three, in, shovel, and around the world. Four, row, and shovel, and around the world. Here's five, halfway, row, six, Here's seven. Row, in and shovel with the lunge. 
Eights to the left. Row. And then shovel. One more each way. Right. Lunge it, weight to the left. Around the world. Last one. You feel that? Okay, put your weight down. Grab your bench. Okay, I need to make sure I have enough room. Go move my dumbbells. Okay, for this one, burpee. You're gonna lunge with the left leg. So it's a front lunge, a reverse lunge. Step up, left, pull the right knee lift, not net right knee up, down, and you're gonna squat, crisscross jack, but we're not done. We have to go to the other side. Up, up, and you're gonna burpee on this side. Everything on the other side then, okay? Ten of these. Let's go. Burpee. Front lunge, left. Reverse lunge. Step up knee, down, crisscross jack, and then up and over. Burpee over here. Don't forget to pull forward if you're doing that push up. Right leg. Front lunge, reverse lunge. Up knee, crisscross jack. Up and straddle. Burpee. This one's three. Front lunge, left, then right. Step up, knee, crisscross jack. Up and over. This one's four. Burpee. Lunge, right leg. Front, reverse. Up knee. Crisscross jack. Up and over. Straddle. Here's five. Burpee. Front lunge left. Reverse lunge. Up knee. Down. Jack. Up and over. Here's six. Right leg, front lunge, reverse lunge, up knee, Woo. up and over. Here's seven, right here, burpee. Left leg, front lunge, reverse lunge, up knee, jack, up and over. Eight, right here. Front lunge, right leg. Front reverse lunge. Up knee, down, wide, crisscross. Up and over. One more, each side. Burpee. Left, lunge it. Lunge it, up knee, out, Woo. up and over, last time. Burpee, front lunge right, reverse lunge, up knee, down jack, up and over. You're like, thank, Heavens, towel walk. Okay, feet are gonna go over the bench, over a box, over a ball, whatever you have. You're gonna grab the weight. Legs are gonna be straight and your back is gonna be on the floor. We're doing 20 crunches. Then you're gonna tap that weight up to the feet. 
two,
Row it. And then shovel around the world. Oh, here's eight. Row it and shovel right side and around the world. Here's nine to the right. Row. Take breaks when you need to. Here's 10. We're halfway there. Go to the right. Here's one. Row. Shovel and around the world. Two. Row. Shovel. Around the world. Here's three. Row. Shovel. You should be breathing hard. <laughs> Here's four. Take breaks when you need to. Row, shovel, and around the world. Here's five. Almost done. Work at your level. Here's six. Row it. Shovel, and around the world. Here's eight. Ooh. There's seven. Sorry about that. Cheating you, aren't I? Here's eight. Shovel. One more each side. Nine row. Shovel left. Around the world. Ten row. Shovel right, and around the world. You ready for those burpees? No, do you have a choice? No. Box is out. Give yourself enough room on each side. 10 of these, burpee. Front lunge, left, reverse lunge, up knee, down, crisscross jack, up and over, squeeze and lift, burpee, push up is optional, front lunge, right and left, up knee, down, jack, up and over. This one's three. Burpee. Front lunge, left leg. Left, then right. Up knee, crisscross jack. Up and over. This one's four. Burpee. Front lunge. Up knee, crisscross jack, up and over. Here's five. Front lunge left, halfway there. Up knee, crisscross jack, up and over. Burpee. Front lunge, up, knee, down, crisscross jack, up and over, here's seven, burpee, front lunge left, up knee, crisscross jack, up and over, this one's eight, Front lunge. Up knee. Crisscross jack. Up and over. Feel that in your quads, hips. 
Front lunge left. Whew. Up knee. Out. Crisscross jack. Last one. Burpee. Front lunge. Up knee. Crisscross jack. Up and over. Woo! Keep that bench. Legs are going across the bench. Yeah, then we do the front bench or the front lunge. One, tap the feet if you can. Two, three, four, six. Now remember, when you bring the weight back, seven, make sure that you press the lower back into the floor. Nine, as the weight comes back, here's 10. Your, your back should not lift off the floor. You should press the hips down and press that back into the floor. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, you ready for those lunges? You can use a weight if you want and take it to the outside of the knee for the lunges, or you can put the elbow, up the hands behind the head and use the elbows like I'm doing. I'm not doing weight, concentrating on engaging the obliques. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, bench. If you want, I'll show you on the floor. I'm gonna move the bench in because I am gonna do it to the bench. But if you don't have one, or this hurts your uh, wrists, if it hurts your wrists, it's because you're sinking into your hands and you've got to press out of that chest. So out of the shoulders and out of the chest. So you round your upper back slightly, but if it hurts, go to your feet or your elbows and you're gonna do a leg raise. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hop it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <sighs> it's pouring off of me. Okay, Move that bench. Everything else is on the floor. You can finish, you can stop there if you want. Or you can do the ab bonus with us. That right there is 
57 minutes. So you got about an hour workout there by itself if you don't add any extra rounds to it. Okay, gotta flip the page. I'm gonna set up the timer here. I will show you. It's two round, or it's uh, 10 second on, 50 second work. There's eight exercises for your abdominals and the glutes. So we're gonna do it like we did the other one. We're gonna go through one round and then we'll hit the timer again and we'll go through the second round. That's what it looks like. If you don't want, if you're doing it on your own and you don't want it to go off after eight, then you make it for 16 and it'll run through it two times before the beeper goes off. So you will, you will have only a 10 second break where we will have a shut the beeper off, a little bit of a drink break and then we'll start the second round. So, we are gonna get into a plank position and you are gonna tap the opposite foot to the opposite hand. Oh, I think I hear thunder, we need thunder. So, let me show you this plank position so you all know it. If, if you're in a plank and your wrists are hurting, you're probably doing this. Your hips are sagging and your shoulders are down, you're almost in an upward facing dog. You want to raise out of those shoulders and pull forward, all right? You see how I did that? The upper back rounds slightly. You hollow out the stomach, you round the stomach, all right? And then you're gonna go and tap. But you're not looking under the body. You're looking between the hands. If you look under, then you round your back and arch it, and you're not engaging the core. So, good position. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can elevate those feet. the arm back if you want so that you know to squeeze that left glute oh. this one is a bicycle crunch right and left right knee and elbow to the knee contract now, you're gonna feel it as you crunch in with the left oblique, but with the right one, you should be engaged and holding that right side off the floor. So you're balancing on your elbow and your hip and engaging the obliques. Now, before we switch to the other side, we're gonna do a single leg V up. You can do a weight if you want to. I'm going to spin around here when the beeper goes off and I'm going to grab a dumbbell. 
That way I'm facing you for the left ones. Okay. Right leg up, left leg up. You want to make it harder? Hover. Now, if you hover and you feel it in your hip flexors, then you're not engaging the abs and keeping the back on the floor. Your lower back is raising up and it's making your hip flexors do all the work. So you're better off engaging those abdominals, bringing one leg up at a time and bringing the upper body in to meet it. Oh, oh. Okay, we got that left side. So left leg goes out, right leg goes in, hover up and lift. Now, if you can, lift the right toes so that the weight is in the heels as you lift up and squeeze the glute of the right leg and the oblique of the left leg, or the, of the left side, the left oblique. next. How you feeling? You'll be ready to stretch, right? Whew. Come down, balancing, left in, right back. When the left comes in, the elbow comes in. When the right comes in, the elbow goes back. Left in, right back. Concentrate on holding the abdominals tight. We've got a plank. Just hold it here. It should be starting to shake. We're going to lower down to the elbows on the next one. And we're going to do Olivia's favorite. We're going to do the buzz salt plank. If it gets to be too much on the hands, go ahead and lower down to your elbows. You're going to hold it here. Remember, your head is neutral with spine. Head and neck, neutral. You're gonna go forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Wow. Towel off, get a drink if you need one. 
We're gonna go through this one more time. You're gonna start out with those planks. We're gonna toe tap, opposite hand to opposite foot. I'm not wasting any time as soon as this beeper goes off. So get into your plank position, engage the core, press out of the shoulders, neutral spine. Remember, lift your toes up off the floor. Put the weight in the heel of the left leg. Squeeze and lift up. Work the obliques of the right side. Remember, we have that alternating single leg V up next, and then we'll go to the left side. Dumbbell if you want. You don't need one. Remember, press that lower back into the floor. As you come back, don't let the back Lift off the floor.
come down. When left leg comes in, elbow comes in. Right comes in, elbow goes back. We got the planks next. Just a regular plank. are tired, my legs are tired, my core is tired. Woo! Uh, okay, let's stay here and let's go back into our child's pose. So drop the butt back to the feet, drop the arms out, give me gold post arms. Do you know what gold post arms are? Take your arms a little bit wider, bend them. That way we don't stretch over the head right away. Okay, I want you to stretch out the glutes. So we're gonna walk the arms back in. I want you to be on the elbows and come into the toes and you're gonna press into a downward facing dog. This is called a dolphin pose. This is going to stretch out your shoulders and your back as well as the glutes and the hamstrings. It's okay if your heels don't come down to the floor. All right. If you need to walk them out to stretch out the calves, eventually as you hold them here, those muscles will relax. You got to train them to relax. You got to stretch them so that they know how to relax. We've worked them really hard. Just stay here a minute. And we're going to come down onto the knees and we're going to stay on the knees and we're going to walk our hands out in the puppy pose. Now you're going to stretch out those shoulders. Keep the butt back. Just breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to keep our hands out here and you're going to press back into downward facing dog. So 
want you to take your hands about shoulder width apart and your, hip, uh, your legs about hip width apart. I want you to try and press the chest into the thighs. They're not going to go into the thighs. You might be flexible and then might get them back there, but that's what you're envisioning. That's the move that you're envisioning. You want to try and get those, the chest back towards the thighs. Stretch out the shoulders and the upper back. Now take the feet about shoulder width apart. Cross the right hand over and look under the left arm. Stretch out the shoulder and the oblique. Now you might be up here at your thigh. That's okay. Go to where you feel comfortable. Calf, ankle, heel, and then come back. Press into a downward dog one more time and stretch out the shoulders. And then release the left arm and take it over. Look under the right. Got to stretch out those hamstrings. We got to stretch out those quads too. Man, those, those boxes and the lunges and the burpees. My quads are on fire. And release it. Now come down onto the knees. I want the knees to go wide and the feet to go close. Sit back into a down or into a, a child's pose, a wide, wide stance child's pose. You can take the arms out to the side. And we're gonna stretch out those shoulders and the back a little bit. So we're gonna stay here on our bellies. I'm gonna get you to give me a couple more breaths and then we're gonna go onto our stomachs. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale. And exhale. You're gonna pull up onto the hands and knees and you're gonna come down onto the stomach. Bring your arms out into a T. And you're gonna lift the right arm and the right leg and roll them over so that the right arm goes back to the left somewhere back there. If you can reach your hands and clasp them together, that's great. If you can't, I can't. That's okay. As long as you can feel that stretch, as long as you're pulling that shoulder up to the ceiling and stretching out the back and the shoulder and the right leg is up, knee is up to the ceiling and feel that stretch in the glute and the hip on the right side. You'll feel a nice pull through the chest as well because we are rolling over onto that left side and we're putting all of that weight into the left side and you're feeling that stretch through the chest on the left side. So bring your arm up, bring it down and bring your right leg back down. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the left with the left. So you're gonna roll over to the right, bring that left arm up and reach it back. You'll always have one side that is more flexible than the other. Just like you have one side that's stronger than the other. So one side you might have a better range of motion on and that's what you wanna to work towards is each side. Just do, you know, no pain. You wanna you want to feel the stretch and the release but you don't want to take it to the point of pain. You'll feel a nice stretch here in the, in the glute and in the hip on the left side. Deep breath, inhale, and exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Bring the arm up, lower it down. While you're here, bring the hands under you, elbows are on the floor up into sphinx pose. Stretch out that back. You want to pull that head out of the turtle shell. Don't be like this, lift it high. Lift the chest, lift the head and the neck. We're going to come back down and replace the hands where the elbows were and come up into an upward facing dog. Stretch out those hip flexors and the back. So you wanna feel that pull through the pelvis and the fronts of the legs at the upper part of the quads, okay? That's your hip flexor. And release it, come up onto the hands and knees. You are gonna pull that right leg out and the left leg goes back. Now, you can either 
stay on the toe of the left leg, or you can put your foot flat. Whatever way you feel comfortable. You're not coming forward like this. Your runner stretch is a pelvic tilt. So, knee stays lined up with the ankle and not over the toe. If you want to, raise the arms up. Now we're gonna do a stretch. You're gonna take the right arm and you're gonna grab that left arm. Pull over to the right side. You should feel a nice stretch in the obliques and all the way down into the hip flexor and the pelvis on the left side. We're not done on this left side yet. You're gonna release those arms. You're gonna take the right arm up and the left arm back. Try and clasp the hands, press the head back against the arm and feel a nice stretch in the shoulders and the chest. Right? All the time you're doing this pelvic tilt, this forward motion where you're stretching out the hip flexor, your runner stretch, but you're not lunging into it, all right? You're staying up and pressing the hips forward to get that stretch. Release the arms, hands come down, come up onto that back foot. Walk that right leg out, turn into the right side, right arm is up, knee goes out, if you want to roll out onto the edge of the foot to stretch out the hip on the right side, you'll feel that through the glute and a piriformis and all along where the sciatic is, where it runs down the back of the leg from inside the glute. Now we're not done. We're going to smoothly flow back down, bring the leg all the way across. Lower down onto the quadricep of the left leg. And this is Michelle's crazy pigeon pose. Take that left arm and take it under. Roll onto the knee and the quadricep of the left leg. And feel that stretch. Anna calls this Michelle's crazy pigeon pose. And you're gonna stretch out the shoulders and the arms as well as the hips and the glutes. <sighs> This feels so good. Okay, now bring your right arm back. Lift up and pull the left arm through. You're gonna spin this left leg around and you're gonna cross it over. You're gonna sit here and you're gonna stretch out those hips. Take the right arm. Walk it out to the right side and lower it down. Bring the left arm up and over. We have to do everything on the left side now. Feel a nice stretch in the waist. You don't want to be falling forward. You want to be straight up and down. You'll feel a nice pull through the hip and the quad on this left side, the foot that's up. Release it and come back up. Now. Everything's got to be done on the left leg. So plant the left leg and the right leg is going to go behind and you're going to get into that runner stretch. Now you can either be on the toe, you can either have your toe up or you can have your foot down on the floor. It doesn't matter. Whatever is the most comfortable for you. Now you're not coming forward like this. You are pressing the pelvis forward. So raise your arms up and we're going to do that stretch to the other side. Nice stretch in the right side. Right oblique, right hip flexor. Hmm. And release it, bring the arms down. You're gonna loop them up and around. Stay here, press the head back, press the hips forward but don't lunge forward. Stay upright like there's a bar running up and down your spine and you can't move it. You should feel that through the quadricep all the way up into the hip flexor. And release it. You're gonna bring the leg down and you're gonna come up onto the foot. Walk the foot out and you're gonna raise up with the left arm and look up to the ceiling and you can roll out onto that foot, the outer part, the outer edge of the left foot, and feel that in the hip and the glute on the left side.
and release it, bring it down. You know what we're doing. We're walking that foot all the way over to the right side and coming into my pigeon pose. Balancing on the quadricep of the right leg and the hip of the left. Left arm is going out, right arm is going under, and you're on top of the quadricep. You should feel that pull through the hip and the glute on the left side. Feel a nice stretch in the shoulders. Just drop those arms, drop those elbows to the floor and feel that stretch through the back and the shoulders. This feels so good. Nice stretch in the quadricep too of the bent leg. This leg, that the left leg that's up, you're feeling a nice stretch through there. Just breathe, inhale. On the exhale, push all of the tension and the tightness that you feel in the hips. Just breathe it out of the body. And you're gonna release it. You're gonna walk that left leg arm in. You're gonna press up and pull the right arm through. You're gonna swing that right leg around and cross it over the right. Whew. We are gonna go to the left side. So the arm is gonna come up and over. Now you wanna try and keep your hips down on the floor. So you don't wanna roll up and come all the way over. If you can only go to here to stretch, that's okay. As long as you're, you wanna press the hand that's on the floor, press into it so that you push that sit bone into the ground so that you're not lifting up. You wanna keep the legs stacked and down. We're gonna lay down onto the back here in a minute. So come up, pull the arm over, stretch it out. Stretch it the other way. And then we're gonna pull it across the chest. You can bring it to the, bring your hand to the tricep and push in, stretch out that shoulder. And then the other one, pull it across. And, and a lot of people have a tendency to pull on this elbow. So if you take the back of your hand and press into the arm, it will, you won't pull and overextend it. You'll press in and feel that stretch across the shoulder and the arm. Release it, push the hands behind, interlace the fingers and press down. Open up the chest and the shoulders. Nice stretch here. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale. We're gonna lay down on the mat. I've got one more stretch for you. We're gonna do a half happy baby pose. So you're gonna take that hand to the insole of the right foot. And your elbow is gonna be by the knee and you're gonna pull out and you're gonna stretch out that inner thigh. Knee is bent. I don't have you in a straight legged position. I want you to hit the inner thigh of, and the groin in the right side. We already stretched out the hips and the outer thighs. If they do need it some more, you can extend the leg out. You can wrap a towel around it and you can, if you're not flexible enough to, um, Take the leg straight out. You can uh, wrap a towel or a strap around it and hold on to the towel or the strap, but really this is supposed to be an inner thigh stretch here. We'll get the outer thigh and the hip, don't worry. You're gonna take that right leg, you're gonna put it in the left hand. And again, the knee is bent. You're gonna pull that foot over to the left side and you should feel a stretch right here, right here in the butt, right here at the glute, the hip, the piriformis that runs this, that it runs down underneath the, the muscles of the glute. Make sure your right arm is out so that you're not rolling over onto that hip. You wanna feel that stretch. And then you're gonna do a pigeon pose from here, from your back, but you're gonna roll over onto that left side, stretch out the obliques. And if you pull your heel up and your knee up and drop your knee, you'll feel a nice stretch in the hip, the outer thigh, and the hip flexors right here. Nice, nice, nice stretch. We gotta repeat everything on the left side. So, you're gonna release that leg, you're gonna roll up, 
uncross the legs. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, bring that left leg in. Reach in and grab a hold of the insole of the left foot. Drop that left knee out and you should feel that in the inner thigh and the groin. If you want to take, now this, this leg is not as flexible as the other leg. So if you want to take it and straighten it out, you can. But I want you to be getting the stretch in the, in the groin area because we are going to bring that left foot over and we're going to stretch out that hip and that uh, glute on the left side. So just bring the knee down towards the floor, towards the floor. If you're not down there, that's okay. If you're up here with your happy baby pose, that's okay. You gotta remember, you gotta loosen up these muscles. You've gotta train them to be loose. So it'll take a while till uh, you get a little bit of flexibility and you loosen up those hips if you haven't been stretching them. Now you're gonna take that right arm and you're gonna grab a hold of that foot and you're gonna pull over. You wanna keep that left shoulder on the floor. So you wanna pull that foot down and you should feel a nice pull through the butt and the hip on the left side. And you wanna stay looking up. You don't wanna roll over to the left and you don't wanna roll to the right. You wanna stay neutral spine here, head and neck. Don't, don't twist the neck and pinch the neck. You wanna just stay right here. And we're gonna cross that left leg over the right for a pigeon pose. You're gonna lower it down to the right side and you're gonna lock the foot and the knee in and you can drop the knee of the left leg out and you'll feel it right here in the hip, the hip flexor and the quad on the left leg. Just breathe, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale. And exhale. I wanna finish up with the quads. So we're going to bring the legs back up. And you're gonna take the legs out. Arms are gonna go over the head, deep breath, inhale. And you're gonna exhale and bring the arms up and roll up. You're gonna take the right leg back and the left leg is gonna stay out. You're gonna lower down and we're just gonna give a nice stretch to the quadricep here to finish it out. We worked really hard on those uh, lunges and the box and all the step ups and everything and our quads are probably really, really tight right now. You're gonna release it and you're gonna come back up. You're gonna stay here and you're gonna do a forward fold. You don't have to go all the way down. Your chest does not have to go to the thighs. Drop down to where you feel comfortable. If you feel like being having your elbows bent on the floor and you feel that stretch in the hamstring of the left leg and the quadricep of the right leg, that's more than plenty. If you are flexible and you can lay down, I can't without it really pulling, so I'm comfortable right here. I feel that nice stretch without that painful pull is what you want. And the longer you stay here, the more flexible you become, the more your muscle begins to relax. So if you do this every night, by maybe two, three weeks, you'll notice you'll be able to go deeper and deeper without rounding the back. You'll be hinging at the waist and you'll feel that stretch in the hamstrings and the back of the leg on the left leg and the quadricep on the right. You're gonna walk it back up and the right leg is gonna come out and you can help your legs out and the left leg is gonna go back and we're gonna lay back and you're gonna stretch out the left leg. Hip flexor right here, okay? We don't want to work that hip flexor when, uh, when we're doing the abs. If you engage it when you're doing lunges, okay? But uh, when, when we're doing the abs and everything, you don't want to be lifting from the hips. You want to be lifting from the abdominal muscles. So that's why I say it's important to push your back into the floor 
and concentrate on that pelvic tilt, training those muscles to stay in and not not working on the on the uh, not using the hip flexors to work the abdominals. And when they begin to work and you feel them there, it's because your muscles, your your abdominals have fatigued and um, your hip flexors, the stronger part, takes over. So you just might need a break at that point. You might need to just stretch them out and give it a break and then go back and engage the core and press it into the floor again and start over, you know, start again. Uh, it just takes time. It's You've got to train those muscles. Come on up and you're going to come forward and you can take the hands to elbows to the floor or you can be you might be right here this might be as far as you can go and you feel it in the quadricep and you feel it in the hamstring it's okay the you start here and as it as you uh, do it and progress you'll get a little bit further and a little bit further where the butt the hip the sit bones are on the floor but you can go and bend at the waist and go further and further till you feel that stretch. It is not until you feel pain and a pull, you wanna just feel a nice stretch through the backs of the legs and a stretch through the front of the quadricep on the left leg here, but you don't wanna feel pain. If you feel pain, you need to back off and go to where you just feel the stretch and not the pain. And we're gonna wrap it up right here. So you're gonna take a deep breath and you inhale and you raise up. And you exhale and see if you can go just a little bit further down. And you're going to walk the hands back. Bring the leg to the front and you're going to shake out those legs just a little bit before you stand up. That was your workout for the day. Thumbs up and if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, so, uh, share it with some friends and uh, I have uh, I have uh, to get my teeth done next week. Um, I, I broke them in a bicycle accident back in 2007 and uh, I have to have crowns put on. They are going to be doing that on Tuesday. So I am, might try and do one before that. If I can, I'll try and do a workout because I don't know how many days. Uh, it's my three front teeth that have to be done. So I'm not sure how many days I'm gonna be down till they fix the gums and, and the teeth for the crowns. But I will try and get one in before I have to have that done. Uh, that is gonna be a three hour, at least a three hour process. So um, if not, I will do it towards the end of the week as I'm feeling better. Uh, but I will try and get one in there beforehand. So have a great day. Day, have a nice week, enjoy the video, and leave me some comments.